I really think that people want to live in nature. They want to be out in the mountains. They want to be where they play. This is Cleelum. It's kind of a little hole, so uh, it feels very off-grid, which is great why a lot of people move over here. The assumptions that we didn't have money to afford internet was not the case at all. People come out here enjoying all the outdoors, whether it be snowmobiling, mountain biking, off-roading. Quite a few people move out to this area because it's gorgeous, but people are reluctant to open small businesses due to the lack of reliable internet. We've lived here for like almost 30 years. The little community that we're in is trying very hard to get to send internet, but it's, it's hard. Like there are two or three things I want to say at the beginning. This is a rare opportunity. You know, the impact that Project Kuiper has on the lives of people is really unprecedented at the scale. About half the world's population lack connectivity um, or access to good connectivity. And, you know, we know what a difference that uh, internet connectivity can make in people's lives. Access to shopping, access to healthcare, access to education. You, know, you have to ask yourself, why aren't the rural areas connected? And the answer is very simple. It's not cost effective. It would have been done by now, but it isn't. Project Hyper is setting out to extend high quality broadband internet access by implementing a constellation of satellites in low earth orbit. 3,236 satellites. The Kuiper Constellation is ultimately going to serve a variety of customers. Residential broadband customers, small and medium businesses and enterprises. We need to be able to deliver connectivity all over the world in a very short period of time. Even just right here in our backyard, right outside Redmond, there are areas where there is no internet connection or extraordinarily poor connection. And we can make a huge impact, like, right away. I've been a council member for four years. My family's five generations from Roslyn, Washington, and Clam. We have one option for internet over here. You know, it'd be great to see a different service come in to see if that would uh, increase the availability, the reliability of it. There's no doubt that there's a hindrance of growth in our area due to lack of constant internet. So this is kind of the hub of town. We have been here 20 years, so if anyone's coming over I-90, they're gonna stop here, refuel, and they're gonna check their messages, they're gonna check their emails. I'm downloading movies so I can take it home and watch it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm stopping. So we have zero internet right now. And when we do, it's 0.76 megabytes per second. Which really and how much do we pay a month? Uh, that's almost $80 a month for nothing. 0.76 megabytes per second. Having a family cafe, people come to work and do their homework, but we can't have people here in the cafe zooming in calls and then somebody else trying to download a big file people across the planet. They're traveling from miles and miles away just so they can access the internet. So then you pull back and you say, how do we get these folks connected? And the right technology to do that is satellites. Typically, big satellites go into the geostationary orbits at 36,000 kilometers. The MEO satellites are anywhere between two and 35,000 kilometers off the surface of the Earth. Kuiper is operating down around 600 kilometers off the surface of the Earth. If we were flying higher, then we can have fewer, but the latency would be higher. Being able to go out and deliver access to the internet to people who don't have it today, you can't really imagine how this is going to better people's lives and how it's going to better people around the world. We often get our cell towers going down. A couple years ago, we did have an incident where I had to call 911 for myself. I was 
kept passing out and I was extremely pregnant and my internet was not fast enough. So I had to wander around till I could find help, which ended up kind of being a scary situation. Existing broadband providers and cellular providers, uh, they can use Kuiper to be able to put a cellular tower in a place that's currently a dead zone, where right now they may not have any other option available to them. And we can go close those gaps in cellular service all over the globe. My youngest was a junior in high school, and without having any internet access at home, he would sit in his car trying to get access. Businesses around here would offer their parking lot for kids to sit and do their classwork. And that was the only way he was able to graduate high school. When COVID first hit, I was just struggling with leaving the kids outside in the cold. These are just great kids trying to do third grade math. So we turned our space that was once a bar into a speakeasy internet cafe. The COVID pandemic, it reiterated to me why the work we are doing is so important. A kid in the middle of a continent, I really want them to have the same quality of internet access that my kids are enjoying at home. There really should be no difference. I feel really driven about it, if you can't tell. <laughs> to get the normal internet to download five upload, it's still $70 a month. And that is one of the big reasons why the kids came, because not all of them honestly could afford it. Affordability is job one for us. And it's really important for us to keep that cost low, because if we don't, then it's very difficult to get the unserved and underserved connected to our service. So we took on the challenge to design our satellites two orders of magnitude cheaper. We have to build everything really kind of from the ground up. We're designing the solar arrays. We're designing the reaction wheels. Satellite constellation management systems. Thermal solution. Unique and bespoke networking. Engineering, manufacturing, you name it. It takes a village. It's not very often in your lives that you get an opportunity to work on something that has an impact on people's life at an unprecedented scale. I mean, how often do you get a chance to join a project, you know, to make that extent of an impact? The complexity is enormous, but we are up to the challenge because of the team we have.